Thoracic limb skeletal muscle. Its main function is locomotion, which allows the animal to walk and run, and generally move around its environment. Latissimus dorsi muscle, a broad triangle muscle that extends from the spinal column down to the humerus. Its function is to flex the shoulder and help propel the body forward. Pectoral muscle, located on each side of the sternum, extends from the sternum to the humerus. There are two pectoral muscle, the superficial pectoral muscle, which is located from the sternum at the cranial end towards the humerus at the cradle tubercle. Its function is to adduct the thoracic limb. The tip pectoral muscle is covered cranially by the superficial pectoral but is larger and wider than the superficial pectoral. It extends farther caudally where it lies immediately subcutaneously. Its function is to adduct the limb and pull the, tip, the limb caudally. Deltoid muscle. A it is triangular and extends from the lateral um, portion of the scapula down to the humerus. Its function is to act as abductor muscle, flex the shoulder joint. Biceps brachii muscle, muscles of the upper arm region, the brachium, has two proximal head attachments um, and extends from the distal end of the scapula to the proximal end of the radius. Its function is to flex the elbow joint. Um, triceps bronchi muscle. It is the muscle of the upper arm region, the brachium. It has three proximal head attachments, and it, they extend from the, digital, the distal scapula and proximal humerus down to the ocranian process of the ulna, the point of the elbow. The function is to extend the elbow joint. The extensor carpi radialis muscles. Um, it is the largest of the cranial lateral muscle group. It lies on the cranial aspect of the radius deep into the branchial radialis muscle as it courses red radially. In a cat, there are two distinct heads. In a dog, there are two, but they are not evident. The function is to extend the carpus. Common digital extensor muscle. It lies caudal to the extensor carpi radialis on the lateral side of the foreleg. Tendons of its insertion branches into four separate branches, and each branch inserts on the dorsal surface of the proximal phalange of the major digits. It extends from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus towards the dorsal surface of the distal phalanges, digits 2, 3, 4, and 5. Its function is to extend the corpus and the digits. The lateral digital extensor muscle. Muscle splits into three tendons of insertion on the digits. Extends from the lateral epicondyle on the humerus towards the proximal end of digits 2, 3, 4, and 5 on a cat, or 2, 3, and 4 on dogs. The function is to extend the digital joint, joints. Extensor carpi ulnaris muscle. It lies caudal and lateral to the lateral digital extensor. The it is the only flexor that arises on the lateral epicondyle. It, it extends from the lateral epicondyle toward, towards the lateral aspect of metacarpal 5 and the accessory carpal bone. Its function is to flex the carpal joint. Abductor pollicis longus muscle. It is a flat triangular muscle. It lies primarily in the groove between the radius and the ulna. It extends from the lateral border of the ulna towards the proximal end of the metacarpals 1 and 2. The function is to extend the carpal joint and abduct the digits. Flexor carpi radialis muscle, the most cranial and medial of the caudomedial muscles. Its thick fusiform belly is partially attached to the deep digital flexor and it only extends to the middle of the radius can be confused with a small pronator teres muscle. It extends from the middle of the condo of the humerus towards the palmar aspect of the metacarpals 2 and 3. Its function is to flex the carpal joint. Flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. It lies next to the extensor carpi ulnaris. Consists of two parts, the humeral and the ulna head, distinct throughout their length but both attached to the accessory carpal bone. It extends from the medial epicondyle, humeral head, and ulcranian process, the ulnar head, towards the accessory carpal bone. The function is to flex the carpal joint. Superficial digital flexor muscle. It lies caught and medial to the ulna, which co and covers the deep digital flexor. It divides into four major branches, which inserts on one digit. Located from the medial, um, extends from the medial epicondyle of the humerus towards the palmar aspect of the middle phalanges of div digits 2, 3, 4, and 5. Its function is to flex the carpal and digital joints. Deep digital flexor muscle has three heads of origin, fused at the carpus that subdivide to attach to the palmal aspects of each digit. 
It lies deep in the superficial digit flexor muscle and the flexor carpi ulnaris. It extends from the medial upper condyle of the humerus, the humerus head, the caudal, the caudal aspect of the proximal ulna, the ulna head, and the middle of the medial radius, radial head, towards the palmar aspect of the distal phalanges of each digit. The function is that it flexes the carpus and digits. That's it for... <laughs> that scared me so much, I didn't know it was going to jump. <laughs> Oh, you crazy cat. I That's wanna... my computer.